welcome to the Drum Dums Coffee Tag Challenge. I don't drink coffee, but I do drink hot chocolate. So guys, I checked out uh, Cinema Darling's coffee tea tag video, whatever, and I thought it was a pretty fun idea, so why not jump in? So basically what it is, you got 10 different categories and there's different types of coffee for each category. So we're gonna start with category number one. So for black coffee, it's a movie that everybody seems to love, but I just can't grasp. Probably 12 Monkeys. I've tried to watch 12 Monkeys a, a few times and it's just one of those movies that it just doesn't grab me. Uh, also, Big Lebowski. I know I'm gonna get freaking killed for this one. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not saying I don't like Big Lebowski and I'm not saying I don't wanna watch it again because I do wanna try to watch it again, but I've tried to watch it two times and I never make it all the way through. So. I need to get back and I need to try to watch it again because sometimes that happens with me. I'm sure it happens with you guys too. You watch a movie, the first time it doesn't click, and then it be quickly becomes one of your favorite movies. I've had this happen before. Fight Club. First time I saw Fight Club, liked it, didn't love it. Next time I watched it, I thought it was great. And now it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay, for the Peppermint Mocha category, a film more popular during the holiday season. Now, this one's easy for me. Uh, a Christmas Story. And of course, Halloween, every Halloween, every October, I, I have to watch John Carpenter's Halloween. And every Christmas, I usually have to watch either Christmas Vacation or A Christmas Story. Number three, the hot chocolate category. Uh, favorite kids movie. Uh, this is another easy one, The Goonies. I love The Goonies. I grew up with The Goonies. It is a great children's movie. And um, E.T. is another one that's a really, really good children's movie. Okay, Espresso, a movie that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. There's, there's a lot of great movies like this in, in the action genre, in the horror genre, but uh, I remember when I first saw Speed in the theater back in 94. That one pretty much kept me on the edge of my seat from start to finish because that premise was just so interesting about keeping a bus above 55 miles an hour. Pretty much from the get-go, that movie just, it, it, it's full throttle. Okay, next category, Starbucks, uh, a film that is everywhere or maybe during a period of your life you you just would constantly see it minions was a good one i know cinema darling used that one and that that's one that you constantly see minions everywhere if you don't see the movie you see the, the actual characters but i remember also uh, a few years back it seems like pirates of the caribbean you were constantly seeing jack sparrow just pop up everywhere and it was getting to the point where it was annoying Okay, for the uh, hipster category, I recommend an independent film. I love independent films, guys. And I'm gonna try to recommend one that I haven't recommended to you guys yet, and that would be Electric Children. You can find this movie on Netflix, and it is really good. It's um, a really religious group. I wanna say they might be Amish, I'm not sure. No, I don't think they're Amish, but they're just really religious. They live off the land, and it's really a story about self-discovery, and I highly encourage you guys to check this film out. It's got Billy Zane in it, and it's just really great. I enjoyed it. Okay, next category, Accidentally Got Decaf. This is a film that you expected more from. I'm sure there's uh, quite a few of these, but um, the one that really comes to mind, I think, is probably The Blair Witch Project. I do like that movie, but I remember when I first watched it, I was like, okay, this is gonna be like this for the next hour and a half? You gotta remember, this is probably one of the first found footage movies, if not the first. It's the first one that was, that catapulted into the mainstream. And it was kind of a hard watch at first. Uh, the ending was really good, but it was, and there was so much of the uh, camera juddering. Yeah, so Blair Witch Project. Okay, uh, Perfect Blend. And this is a movie that is partly bittersweet, but it left you satisfied. I would say The Weatherman with Nicolas Cage. That is a really, really good film, and it's got some bittersweet parts to it, but it's kind of a, a comedy, kind of a drama, but never fully either one of those. I find that movie really relatable. His character, you you can't help but like him even though he just constantly screws up. So definitely check that one out, The Weatherman. And on a side note, I'm thinking I might have to do a best and worst of Nicolas Cage video and maybe I'll do a collab video or something on this because Nicolas Cage is one of the most interesting actors ever. He, he is an enigma. He is a conundrum. He is Nicolas Cage. Okay, uh, next category, Coffee With My Sugar, a film that you might have loved too much. This was a tough one for me to uh, think of too. I mean, there's a lot of films I love probably too much. I'm gonna say Spies Like Us from the 80s. I love that movie so much and it's probably not as good as I think it is, 
but I just love Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd in that movie. They are just perfect, and every time I watch it, I'm in stitches. It's so freaking funny. I love it. Okay, and for the last category, Friends Don't Let Friends Drink Starbucks. This is a film that I would recommend people avoid, and this one's gonna be easy, because I just reviewed it, and I ripped it a new one. It's Fantastic Four, or fan stick whatever you guys wanna call it. But I almost want you guys to watch it because it's that bad, but it's really bad. And it's shocking because, you know, in this day and age, you shouldn't have superhero movies this bad. But, yeah, it's it's horrible. So, that's it. So, I gotta give a shout out to Cinema Darling and Ellie Marie. I really had a good time doing this video. I would encourage you guys to do one for yourself. It was really fun. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And drum dumb out.